Hey guys, how you guys are doing? How, how you guys are doing? How are you guys doing? Uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, just a couple of things, a couple actually bigger things, something worth uh, announcing. Baby announced last week, pff, that was nothing. This week, uh, lots to announce. Uh, but first I wanted to just comment, the, the sermon this week uh, that I did, the little message, is, is a brief comment on the Black Lives Matter protests. And I just want to add a little disclaimer that I didn't in the message. Uh, and that's that, uh, that there's a lot more that could be said and a lot more that should be said than I say in that little message. What I, I was trying to do and what I wanted to do was just give a little bit of a framework for how the church relates to issues in the world generally. And hopefully there's some implications or hopefully the implications for uh, relating to the Black Lives Matter movement or justice issues, hopefully those implications are clear. Uh, but in no way is it supposed to be some sort of definitive statement or um, or anything like that. It's just a comment how theology influences the way that we engage with social issues. Because I'm not sure if you've noticed, depending on how involved you are with, uh, I guess, Christian voices, uh, you might have noticed that there is disagreement. Uh, Maybe you're surprised by that. I'm somewhat surprised by it, but then somewhat not surprised too. But there's disagreement about uh, about what the church should be doing or what Christians should be doing in relation to this incredible movement uh, that is happening. So in terms of announcements, we finally have some, uh, some kind of approval or authorization to hold gatherings. And uh, clearly that's not the same same... Uh, type of gatherings that we had way back in February. February was like a hundred days ago. Isn't that crazy? But here's uh, some of the details as far as I understand them. Uh, churches are allowed to meet at 30% capacity as long as social distancing measures are kept in place. So that's great. 30% uh, capacity. Uh, however, for us, we use the City of Waterloo's Adult Recreation Facility and that building is not going to be open until at least July. City of Waterloo has closed all their facilities until, until the end of June, uh, which means that the 30% capacity applies to our Regina Street facility, uh, which is definitely not as large. And so 30% of Regina Street's capacity, I would estimate maybe 10 to 15 people. Um, so that's we'll put a pin in that uh, and we can maybe do some smaller things at Regina Street in the future, in between now and when uh, when either the Adult Rec Center opens or when larger gatherings are allowed. Uh, but in the, in the meantime, social gatherings of up to 10 people are now allowed. Uh, so that's great. Uh, I think that's a great little number. So uh, uh, we're not going to be able to meet as a whole church, obviously, uh, but I think it would be cool to have some smaller gatherings happening around the city, whether those are on Sunday mornings or whether they're on other, uh, at other days or times of the week. And so let's do that if people are interested. Let's have some smaller gatherings. And rather than rush into a big kind of sign up and like, let's get this you know, thing like, hey, I'm going to sign up for this group and this is going to be my weekly group. What I would suggest is that we just do it a little bit more informally uh, for the first week or two and then see how people are feeling, see what the level of engagement is and so on. And then from there, we maybe uh, can organize things a little more concretely. So here's what I would suggest. I'll suggest that we use the Facebook group and email if, if you're not on the Facebook group for some reason. Uh, you can email me to connect and make your <laughs> thoughts and intentions known. Uh, but we can use the Facebook group. And so on that group, if you would like to have people over to your home, uh, you can make yourself known. This doesn't have to be like, hey, I want to host a weekly group. It's just like, hey, I would like to see some people that I haven't seen for 100 days. <laughs> and I would especially encourage people that have backyards or outdoor spaces, outdoor seating spaces, to offer your homes. Uh, maybe have a little fire pit or campfire in the backyard, that would be pretty cool. Um, but just offer your homes up. And then if you'd like to meet with people, you don't have a home, but you would like to meet with people, make yourself known 
as well. And then we'll connect those two groups, the people that have meeting spaces and the people that want to use those meeting spaces. Uh, so again, we'll start it kind of informally. If you have a house, just post it on Facebook. Hey, on Thursday evening this week, I w would love to have five people over to my house and then five people, or if you're interested, you can just comment below, hey, I'd love to attend. And then you meet, pretty simple, pretty simple. Again, it's not gonna be a, a commitment at this point uh, to form a kind of weekly group or, uh, or, or even to open your home on a weekly basis or any kind of regular basis. Initially, we're just trying to get some little gatherings together and then from there we may try to organize things a little better. But uh, I will say that, that this also seems like a really good time to transition away from our online prayer meetings into face-to-face -face meetings. Um, so if some folks would like to spend your gatherings or open your homes up or, or spend part of your group time meeting together and praying together, that would be great. Maybe indicate that too. It's like, hey, I'd love to have seven people over to our house and we're going to spend some time praying and then hanging out or whatever. So this is encouraging news. We get to see each other face to face. Uh, when you do gather at somebody's house, I think social distancing rules still apply. Uh, so probably best not to be sneezing and coughing on each other. Uh, but other than that, um, let's get together, meet together. We're going to open our home up soon. Not yet though. We have a baby that is like the size of a, of a doll and we have parents that aren't sleeping and kids that are wild. So we're hoping like in maybe a few weeks, couple weeks, uh, our house is ready to rock and roll, but we'd love to have some people into our backyard as well. And in the interim, hopefully you guys can connect with each other. Uh, so use the Facebook group. If Again, if you're not on it, email me and I can help connect you uh, to one of the groups or people that are opening up their homes. And I think that's it. Bless you guys. Uh, love you guys. Looking forward to seeing people face to face. And uh, I think that's it for this morning. Enjoy your day.